Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. I'm Barbara Hackler. And this is Captain's Vlog. Now today, Barbara and I are on the port side of the hull. They've just completed the final clear coat on Saturday. Today is now Monday. So it's only had a day really to start curing. We're gonna leave about a week and inspect after a week. But we're gonna show you guys now pretty much the finished product here on port side. We're very happy with the results. It's looking epic. But again, only the final inspection we've done after five, six days of curing. So here we very go. Exciting. Very, very, very exciting. Very exciting for us. Let's look at that finish. So you will see there are always going to be a few dust spots on the um, on the surface. This is inevitable. The reason being because it's such a huge um, surface to paint. Even with the tenting, the correct filtration, you're always going to get little specks of dust. However, over a period of time, when a boat gets washed with brushes and soaps, those start those dust specks start um, um, dissipating and disappearing, then leaving the perfect finish of the boat. Now our planning, uh, what we've been discussing, Barbara and I, is uh, after the warranty on the paint is finished, we get a one year warranty on the paint, is applying a ceramic coating. So we're looking at different companies at the moment. We've been discussing already a year in advance. Um, so once the warranty is finished, we're looking to apply a ceramic coating which will further protect the paint and any uh, black exhaust coming from the main engines or the generators won't be sticking to the surface of the, of the hull therefore easier to wash and it makes the deck team's job a lot easier to keep the exterior of the boat um, nice and clean and looking looking fresh. Furthermore, with the ceramic coating, it's going to prolong the life of the paint. Uh, given the, the, the budget for this paint job, we want to prolong it, I, I'm hoping, for at least 10 years. Uh, the ceramic coating should help that. Normally ceramic coating should last between three and five years, so we look probably to reapply every five years just to keep it looking looking good. It's very interesting, the masking. If you can see the masking is very accurate. Like they really mask what they don't want uh, to be touched by the clear coats and only this. Yeah, all the masking done through there. Very nicely done. And then you can see they put the blue masking tape here because this is normally where the fender rail goes, the rub rail. So there's screw holes all the way along. So obviously we don't want to cover up those screw holes, we want to leave those open. On, uh, on any paint job, actually the masking is the most time consuming part. It takes a lot of time to mask very properly every little detail before you apply any paint. And also the preparation of the surface. So you've got to sand right back, exactly. all different kind of grits of sandpaper, and yeah. then clean the surface thoroughly, like thoroughly clean clean the whole environment, make sure there's no dust before applying any kind of primer, paint or clear coat. See the, the boot stripe down there that's been painted on, that is not a sticker or a vinyl. That's been very nicely done. We'll go down there in a second. The boot stripe, look at that. Look at that quality that boot shot all the way along and then from here down is going to be then applied um, as some of you may be aware we had the underside of the hole sandblasted had it inspected once the repairs are done they'll apply a primer and then two coats of uh, international anti-foul furthermore for those of you who've been following the channel for a while you may remember this exhaust outlet for the low RPM uh, used to be steel, okay? We used to have four screws, one, two, three, four. Now the issue with that that we had, we constantly, even the deck team keeping on top of it, had rust runs. So I got the guy to redesign it. This is now made of uh, fiberglass and resin and they bonded it to the boat. This is, this is very interesting for the deck team, not because we're gonna work less, but because the boat is gonna look better and we're gonna have more time to take care of the guests instead of just cleaning that every day, so that's very good. Yeah, exactly. They've done a great job here. I mean, look at it. It's just, it's just, look, it's just brand, everything's brand new. It's brand, brand, brand new. Look at that.
here, you can see the dust speck there. And then so over time that will be um, washed off with, uh, uh, with the deck team just constantly applying um, deck brushes, soaps, and then I think in a matter of maybe a month or two, you won't get any more deck, deck um, specks on the, um, on the hull, on the paint. And then as we come down here, under here, this is the exhaust outlet for the port side generator. So it all comes out of here. Uh, this normally has a stainless steel grate, which has got, obviously got removed for the paint. You know, overall, I mean, the, the dust specks are so minimal um, that you barely notice it. And also, one other thing you've got to consider is once the tent is off, because uh, the type of light we're using in the tent, you see every little detail. When you're then in the sunlight, in, you know, in, in real light, you're not going to notice it at all. And obviously, given different angles, because we're right here against the hull, we have a completely different perspective. Once the boat's in the water and you view the boat, say, from a tender or from the shore, you're not going to see it. All you're going to see is this epic, gloss, beautifully painted um, San Lorenzo yacht. So, what do you think, Barbara? I think now I cannot wait for the summer to come and see that paint job in the sun. It's going to be epic. All the way along here. Even Some of you may remember we had a bit of cracking in these corners here, which is quite common. Any kind of like squared off areas or angles of degrees here. You're always gonna get cracking, so all the guys have done here, they reinforce this area on the inside. So hopefully, touch wood, we shouldn't get any more cracking along there anymore. But I mean, just look down the side of the boat. I mean, just look at that gloss, that reflection. Ciao. Cool. So for the protection, we can still see our beautiful cheek. Um, so it's masked in uh, transparent plastic so that we can, it's still protected, but we can still check that, for example, there's no humidity staying there, there's nothing that could uh, damage the tick while we are working on something else, and that's very important. Because the t when was the tick changed? The tick has been changed last year, it's brand new tick, so we really want to keep it very, very good for next season. Yeah. So originally, <laughs> when we did the, uh, the tick contract, um, what was agreed was uh, 15 millimeters. Is that right with the 15 mils? Uh, 16. 17? Finished but at 15 after the sanding. Yes, yes. So we had, so the, the contract was, we had 15 millimeters of teak. They had a time, they had a time scale to do the job. Everybody signed, our surveyor signed, their side signed, our owner signed, so everybody was happy. One week later, we get an email saying uh, we can't provide the 15 mil teak. So we're like, well, you know, you guys already started the job. What do you propose we do? And they said, well, all we've got available is 20 mil teak. I said, well, you need to supply 20 mil teaks. So they wanted us to change the contract, but we obviously refused to because they agreed to everything. And they asked a substantial amount of money for this teak job. And so we basically got 20 mil teak for the price of 15 mil teak, so that's going to be 20, 30 years of life for teak decks here. Yeah. yeah, so they applied, the teak was 22 millimeters, and after the Sand teak job is finished, we actually have 20 mils on the deck. This is very big uh, compared to any other yachts of the sphere industry. This is very, very thick, thick. Teak, very high quality. Especially for the San Lorenzo. I don't think any other San Lorenzo will have 20 millimeters on teak deck. So happy with that as well. Win win. Right. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed that update. Uh, if you haven't done already, please do subscribe, please browse the channel, post any comments in the comments box below. And if you like the video, please click that thumbs up button. But for now, from Barbara and I, it's ciao for now. Ciao.